are following up on one of the deadliest attacks on law enforcement in recent years. We shared this with you as breaking news yesterday out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Four law enforcement officers were killed after a U.S. Marshals Task Force tried to serve a warrant. Three of those officers were part of a fugitive task force. The fourth was a responding officer. All four leave behind widows and children. Four other officers were injured. The suspect, Terry Clark Hughes Jr., was killed in that shootout. He had a lengthy criminal record in North Carolina and was not allowed to have a firearm. The Charlotte police chief says he believes the suspect was trying to kill as many officers as possible. I would implore any officer, local, state, or federal, that if you need assistance, it's okay not to be okay and make sure that you ask. And I would think we should just keep repeating that and repeating that. Two other people were found inside the house after the suspect was killed. They do not face charges at this time. We're digging deeper into the training required for situations like this. Reactions to being uh, to serving an arrest warrant can vary greatly. Now, we talked with Stephen Meacham. He's an associate professor of criminal justice at Cedarville University who has decades of experience working with police. He says that most people will comply in a peaceful manner. Those who do not will see a negotiator trying to de-escalate that situation. SWAT or tactical teams are used for potentially violent situations where law enforcement must enter a building to apprehend someone. Offenders who are known to be violent will be handled by task forces similar to the teams used in Charlotte. When they go through a police academy, there's training as far as how to apprehend uh, a person. But beyond that, when we have these situations where somebody is wanted and somebody is a known felon who has a history of resisting arrest or acting violently, there is a task force that is deployed to apprehend those particular individuals. Those task forces can be members of different agencies, including federal. They will go through extra training and preparation for particular violent individuals.